Combining data is a common task we do in Excel. And appending records from multiple lists is a frequent scenario. In this workbook, I have three lists that I want to stack on top of each other. In the Steve worksheet, I have seven columns and I have a certain number of records. I go to the next worksheet, Mia, where I have the same seven columns with different values and a certain number of records. And then in the last worksheet, Andy, I have the same exact structure with a different number of records and different values. I want to stack the records on top of each other in a way that if more records are added to any of the three sheets, they will be automatically added to my final report in which I stack all the records together. I go to the All Managers worksheet and I start my work in cell A1. I'll be using a VStack dynamic array function, equal VStack. I hit Tab. I go to the first worksheet, Steve, and here I select all the records, including the column headers. And to allow adding further records, I'll be selecting some empty rows. I then type a comma. I go to the next worksheet, Mia. This time, I'm not selecting the header row. I start selecting the records and I'm adding few empty rows to accommodate for future records. I then type a comma. I go to the last worksheet. I'm not selecting the header as well. I select the records and I go further down up to row number 35 adding some empty rows to accommodate for future records. When I close the bracket and then hit enter, all the records are combined from the three sheets. The problem I have, and because I selected some empty rows, then I get some zeros. To solve this problem, I put my function in the edit mode F2, and here comes the importance of the new dot operator. What does the dot operator do? it will take up to the last used row. So if I click after the colon in each one of the three references, immediately after the colon, and I type a dot, and then I go to the second set, I click after the colon and I type a dot, I go to the third one, I click after the colon and I type a dot. There is a function that can do that, it's the trim range function, but using the dot operator is much easier it will exclude all the empty rows. So I'm going to hit enter and the problem is solved. Now let's test. I scroll down to the last record and then I go to Mia and I copy, let's say two records, control C to copy. I go to Andy and I want to paste values here, control shift V. Now these two records are added to the third list. Let's go to the All Managers worksheet and the two records are automatically added. You might have noticed format needs to be recreated. So if I select the date column, shift control down arrow, I format it as date by using the shortcut control shift three. I select the cost control shift down arrow and I format it as currency control shift four and the same for the total. Control shift down arrow, control shift four to format it as currency. And now I have my list combined formatted and it can accommodate for newly added rows to the source data. If you enjoyed this tip, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel to receive more tips when they become available.